I'm Electra Formosa and I am here today in the Fashtag studios and I'm going to show you what I have in my makeup bag. As you can see, I have two makeup bags here. This one is a bit of a bigger one that I have everything in and then this little one has got all my essentials in for day-to-day -day makeup. So I'm going to start off with this big makeup bag, which is very cute. Um, I got this recently as a gift for my birthday. It's from um, a brand in Selfridges. I just love the big lips on it, I just think it's really cute and it's kind of that kind of gel material so that inside um, it's not going to make a mess of anything like breaks or spills because we all know that's happened before. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with this product which is my primer and foundation in one. It's from Ariane Paul. Ariane is my mum and she's a fabulous makeup artist and I'm very lucky because I get to have lots of products. And this product is amazing. I use it every single day as a base. It's got really good coverage and it's got a primer in it as well, which means I don't have to worry about an extra step, but it's also got a nice glowy finish because I don't like to look too matte. So I love that one. So next out of this bag, these are my favourite lipsticks. I love Estee Lauder's lipsticks. They've got a really nice feel to them, great coverage. And these are probably my three favourite colours that I'm kind of into at the moment. I've got a really super pale pink one. This is called Power Pink and it's just really girly and really pretty. It looks quite fresh, so I really like that one. And then I have been loving dark lips at the moment. It's kind of that time of year where a bit autumnal, like to do a really simple eye. And then I love this one. This is called Plum Couture, very fitting name. Um, and as you can see, it's well used. I really like that one. And then every girl I feel like must have a red lipstick and this one is absolutely the best colour I've ever found. It's from their Double Wear collection which means it will just stay on all night and it really really does. Um, it's called Scarlet and it's just the best colour of red. It's kind of got a bit of a bluey tone, undertone to it, which makes your teeth look really, really white, which I think is great with a red lipstick. So this colour in Stay Scarlet is an absolute must-have in my makeup bag. So this makeup bag has got everything in it that I literally cannot live without every day, must have the items inside. Um, the bag itself is from Victoria's Secret and I actually got it as part of a three-piece set that I got in an airport in Buenos Aires. I kind of just saw it as I was passing through and I couldn't resist the sparkle. There's a mini one that's even smaller, it's like this big, and then a really big one that um, I just keep at home with like bath products and stuff in it. So inside here, I have lots of goodies. Starting off with concealer. Now, I don't know about anyone else, but I would never go out of the house without under my under eyes concealed. I always feel like it's an essential thing to do. Um, this is by Ariane Paul, and I love it because there's three shades inside, um, which means you can kind of custom it, customize it to your skin tone and even different parts of your face, a slightly different color, if you know what I mean. Like under your eyes, you might need a slightly different color to a blemish you want to cover, and then also different times of year. So if you want to kind of get a fake tan or get a bit of a tan and then in the winter when you're a bit paler you can just kind of mix and match in the palette and also I like it because it's a big mirror which means I don't have to carry um, another mirror which is great. So I always wear on my eyes this creaseless cream shadow from Benefit and the colour is called Birthday Suit and I literally feel like it's a perfect base for any eyeshadow or I quite often wear it on its own and the colour is like a bronzy gold colour it almost looks like you haven't really got anything on just a bit of a sheen but it's really good it does not crease it does not come off and it just kind of makes your eye look like you've kind of got a little bit of something on so then next eyeliner I am a big fan of eyeliner I feel like it really just defines the eye if you're not very good at sort of shading and all that sort of stuff which I'm not brilliant at I always go for eyeliner and I've tried a lot this Rimmel one this gel Rimmel one is fantastic it's in a just black and I love it because it comes with a little brush that's inside and it's a really good shape of brush I found. And the product inside, as you can see, is very well used. I actually have a lot of these in various handbags. I've kind of just lost and found and I, every day I use this, do a little eyeliner flick. Um, I just feel like it's a great go-to. Stays on all night, stays on all day, great product. Then mascara, um, I... Like I say, it's all about the eyes, really. I feel like if I've done my eyes, then I've kind of done my makeup. Um, and I'm really loving this one from Benefit at the moment. It's called They're Real. And it's just got really voluminous kind of look to the eyelashes, adds that look. And I love the little brush at the end because it's got like a little 
them extra strong so you can get that at corners. I hate when they can't get them with a big brush. Um, it's got a really nice brush, really nice coverage. Just a really nice product. And then for blush and my cheeks, everyone always asks me how I sort of contour and blush. This product is the key. Um, MAC do a similar one as well. This is by Ariane Paul as well. Um, it's two um, colours in one. So you get a blush and a sort of bronzy shade. And I literally use this under, sort of just on my cheekbone and um, this on the apple of my cheek, the blush. And I just really like these colours. I feel like they kind of are a great natural, neutral tones that you could sort of use every single day. Um, and yeah, I think, I think it's Rihanna and MAC have done a very similar palette, but I really, really like this one. And then finally, this is like my magic secret weapon. It is from Estee Lauder, it's called Ideal Light, and it is a brush on illuminator that I put underneath my eyes and then just in anywhere I want to highlight. And basically, it's kind of similar to the Touche Clash product that everyone has seen, but I really like this one because it's slightly pinker and it also comes in different colours and it's just got a really nice brightening effect. And you know those days where you're feeling pretty tired, especially in the winter when it's a bit dull and dark, it just adds a real nice illuminating touch. So that has been my makeup bag essentials. Let me know what you think of the products that I've chosen by leaving a comment in the box below. And also I'd love to know what your makeup bag essentials are. And don't forget to subscribe to Fashtag. Bye.